Hello guys, it is Al9 and today we'll go over the top 3 best working solo glitches that work right now on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. These are very good and these are the 3 best. Now if you're watching this a few days after this video comes out, some of these may be patched. If you check the description, that will tell you which glitch is patched and which glitch is not patched. So check that if you're watching this a few days later. So let's get right into the third one. So this third best working glitch is a glitch where you can jump into a easy solo pileup. And let's get right into how to do this. First step is to get your guns ready. Now keep in mind when you're in this glitch, you will not be able to collect any power-ups. So... What you want to bring if you want to do this and not jump out for ammo is you want to bring the shockwave wonder weapon and that's because you do have unlimited ammo with that wonder weapon and if you have that wonder weapon then you shouldn't have to leave because you have that unlimited ammo with that wonder weapon. So once you're done getting set up and everything, next step is to go to an anomaly. So find one on the map. As you can see I have one in the pond. So you need to go into the anomaly. Once you're done going into that anomaly, you guys want to go to the Pack-A-Punch room and you want to get there before you teleport back out of the anomaly. So go to that room and you want to wait in that room until it starts to teleport you out of that anomaly. Once you start teleporting, you want to quickly run to this railing and jump on top of this railing. You want to definitely make sure that no zombies are after you so you don't mess up. So definitely make sure to do this at the end of a round and just kill that zombie once you're here. But you want to jump right before you teleport and you want to jump to where I jump to. So go ahead and do that and what will happen if you have timed it right, you will see once you're done teleporting, you're going to be on top of this and you do not want to move at this point. You just want to look around and do not actually move left and right. If you move left or right, then you will fall out. So like I said, just look around. Do not do anything else. Now I'm going to go through that one more time and I'm going to show you guys how I get it every single time. So what I do is when I see myself start to teleport, like I said, I run to the railing and jump on it. Make sure no zombies are around me. If there are, I kill them. And what I look for is my weapon and I just look at my weapon and as soon as I see my weapon start to go away from my screen you will kind of see it. That is when you guys jump and you guys want to go right ahead and do that at that point. And if you do that and do it when your weapon is going away from you then you should get it every single time. That's what I do and I haven't missed it while doing it this way. So once you are up here, like I said, do not move left or right, just look around. And if you have done everything right, the zombies should pile up right in front of you and, and you guys can take them out. It's very good, you guys have a perfect shot for their head and you guys can use this to get camels, but like I said, you cannot collect the power-ups, so if you do not have that shockwave, then you're gonna have to jump down eventually and get ammo, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you guys do have an anomaly very close to the Pack-A-Punch room, then you can do it in the beginning when you first teleport. So do the same thing that I did, but instead of doing it with the teleport after you teleport that first time, do it with the first one. And that only will work if it's close to this spot. If it is not and it's in pond, then you're going to have to do it when you leave the anomaly. So that is how you guys do this glitch. I went super in depth. If you guys are wondering what happens with the boss zombie, the boss zombie will literally just walk around and will not touch you whatsoever. So that's with the boss zombie. Now the zombies just can't get you. So you don't have to worry about the boss zombie or zombies. And if you're wondering about the dogs, the dogs can attack you here and there on dog rounds. Because as you can see in the background footage, they can jump and they can attack you, but it is not often whatsoever and you will be able to take them out and you will not have to worry about that. So just keep that in mind, but most of them should just pile up right in front of you anyways and you will be able to take them out before they even attempt to do that. So that right there is the third best working glitch and now let's get right into the second. The second best working glitch is an easy under map pile up, which is, like I said, very easy to do. And now let's get right into that one. So first step is to have these things before you go into a game. The first thing is you need the Ether Shroud on a tier 3 and you need that in a class, that's a must have. Second thing is Quick Revive to tier 2, that's also a must have as well. You need those two things before you load up into the game. Once you have them, load up into the game. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make it so you can avoid the crash. The way to avoid it is by first getting to wave 10. You have to at least get to wave 10 or above before you get into this glitch so you don't get that crash. 
Then you guys want to make sure you have everything ready, like your guns and all that stuff. The best thing to bring is definitely the Shockwave Wonder Weapon. Once you're done with that, you guys want to go right ahead and make sure that you have a Quick Revive and your Ether Shroud. And then you want to follow me and go all the way over to where I'm at. I am next to the Stemming Up. And this is a very easy glitch. You guys need to come over to this corner and you want to line up where I'm lining up right there. Then you want to look up and look at the edge of the rock and you guys want to activate your ether shroud tier 3. If you have done everything right and have lined up properly, you should teleport right outside the map. Once you're here, you want to follow where I go. Now keep in mind when you're heading to this location that I'm going to, the zombies will be able to throw stuff at you. So you want to be quick and you don't want to stand around too much because then they will hit you and you can die from that. So kind of be quick and don't be too slow and just follow where I go and go all the way over to this hole. Once you're at this hole, you guys want to fall down right here you want to be careful because if you miss this spot then you can fall back into the map once you're here you guys want to follow me all the way down you guys want to keep crouch and you guys want to go right ahead and move to your right then just follow me more and you guys will be underneath the map now when you're underneath the map you want to be in a certain location so you do not get to crash i've been in a certain location for a very long time and i haven't crashed so you guys are going to be coming all the way over to this part of the crash site and you want to jump right here. Once you guys end up jumping right here, you guys want to follow me and stand at this position. You guys want to aim where I aim and all the zombies will pile up in front of you, including the dogs, zombies, and the boss will pile up, but sometimes the boss will just freeze. You don't worry about the boss because you do not have to kill him to change the round. You just need to kill the dogs and the zombies. And when you kill the dogs, when it drops that gas, that will not damage you whatsoever. When you're in a spot, you cannot die from anything and you will be perfectly fine to rank up your weapons, get camos, and get XP. Now, this is definitely a very good glitch and they're going to patch this very soon. So make sure you guys take advantage of this and follow exactly what I did so you do not get the crashes. Because if you do what I do, then you will not get the crashes. I've been in this for a very long time and I haven't had a crash. Now, if you do run out of ammo in your gun, what you can do is follow where I go and pick up ammo right here. That's exactly where you can pick it up. Go right ahead and pick it up. Then, when you go back to the spot, make sure you do jump in that one area and then go to that spot. Finally, if you want to leave, follow where I go and just simply go to the right of this tree and use your ether shroud. I'm not going to use it because I'm going to stay in this spot, but if you do use it, then you will get out of the glitch, and that's how I get out. So that's the second best working glitch, and let's get right into the best working glitch on this game at this current moment. So this one is going to be a god mode glitch. Yes, this is still working, and it's definitely a very, very good glitch, and this is the best one. So let's get right into it. So the first step is to go right ahead and build Pack-a-Punch. Next step is to find the anomaly after you build the Pack-a-Punch, then go in it and you want to find these three parts. Now, depending what portal you go into is depending what order these will spawn, but these will be in the same spots, so the spots don't change, it's just whichever one spawns first, and it depends on which portal you go into. Now, one of the parts can be in the Pack-a-Punch room right here. The next part can be under these stairs and spawn. The third part can be on top of this in the crash site. Once you get all three parts, you guys want to go down to the Pack-a-Punch room and you guys want to craft what you just collected. Let's go ahead and craft that and then pick it up. Now, you guys are going to want to shoot four of these white orbs. One is going to be right here behind this chair that's tipped over, so shoot that one. Then you want to follow me down these stairs, look to your right, and that is that white orb right there. Shoot that. This next one is going to be at the bottom part of the Pack-a-Punch room in this window. Shoot that one right there. Next one is right in front of where you crafted that thing, and it's going to be on the right. So go right ahead and make sure you guys shoot that one. Now the last one you do not want to shoot, which is going to be all the way high up in this corner. And do not shoot that one. Leave that one and don't touch it. Next step is what you have to do is you have to wait until you are a round before an Xville. A Xville will spawn on the map every single game on round 11. So you want to go to round 10. Now I do not know when they spawn in the later rounds. Please comment down below if you do know. So go to round 10. Then you want to go all the way over to the speed cola room. And you want to stand next to the anomaly. And you want to kill the last zombie of round 10. And as soon as you kill him, you guys want to go into 
that anomaly. Now you guys want to quickly run to the pack punch room and you're going to teleport when you guys get into the pack punch room. Once you are done teleporting, if you are now in the X fill round, what will happen is that white orb is going to be there. Now you want to shoot it. You guys want to wait until you see the zombies dancing and until you see the dead coffin meme start. So just wait. Then when it starts, you want to quickly run to the speed cola room and you guys want to pick up the diary. Now you guys want to quickly run over to this first ghost, spawn him in, give him the diary. Then you guys want to quickly mantle up here and go all the way up here and follow me. And you guys want to activate this next ghost and give him the diary. Now follow me back into the pack a punch room and you guys just want to simply head over to this and just spawn him in then give him the diary at this point you want to look at the ghost and you do not want to switch weapons or shoot whatsoever just look at the ghost and wait until you start to teleport what's going to happen when you're done teleporting is you are going to be in the glitch if you have done everything right so if he has go up to a zombie, what will happen is he will just ignore you and they will pile up in a various amount of the locations around the map. Now make sure you follow exactly what I do, I went super in depth and if you do what I do, then you will get it every single time. This is a very easy glitch and I got it right on my first try when I did it. So that is the top three best working solo glitches on this game. Like I said, if you're watching this at a later date, check the description and I'll tell you which ones are patched and which ones are not patched. And if there is a patch, I'm going to be updating you guys on the best working. So stay tuned for that. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today. Because normally a ninja, you have to be silent. And I'm Cole Style 9 But anyways, that's it. Peace out. See you in the next video. Have a great day. You guys are awesome. See you later. Peace.